So in this video we're going to uh, take a system of equations that's in matrix form and we're going to find the unique solution of this system by finding and using the inverse of the coefficient matrix. So the idea is suppose we start with the system of equations and this is one that we've been working with over the past few videos. We know that this system can be written in matrix form by taking the coefficient matrix times the variable matrix x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 and setting it equal to the matrix of constant terms 1, 3, 3. <clears throat> so the coefficient matrix, we just read the coefficients off 1, negative 1, negative 2, 1, negative 1, negative 2 and then 2, negative 3, negative 5, 2, negative 3, negative 5 and negative 1, 3, and 5. And the idea is the same as it is if we were just working in a beginning algebra course and solving something like 2x equals 6. We need to find the inverse of 2, which is a half, and then we multiply both sides by the inverse. because one half times two is one, which is the multiplicative identity for real number multiplication. Well, here we're working with matrices, so we want to find, if this is our matrix A, we want to find A inverse, so we can multiply both sides by A inverse, which will simplify this to the identity matrix. So the next step is to figure out what does A inverse equal, and we can uh, do that using GeoGebra. So I'm going to hit escape here and we're going to keep those. And if we're in GeoGebra here, I've already entered the coefficient matrix into GeoGebra. So that's coming from this coefficient matrix right here, the matrix A. I've pre-typed it or pre-loaded it into GeoGebra. And then we know that our technique for finding an inverse is to take this coefficient matrix right here. And here it is again. And then augment it with the identity matrix, which I've done, and then we put this into reduced row echelon form. So in my computer algebra system, I go reduced row echelon form of my augmented matrix. And if this comes out to be the identity matrix right here, then I know that this is my inverse matrix. So A inverse, I've already entered this inverse matrix, which I found by doing reduced row echelon form into GeoGebra, and I named it A inverse. And so the idea is, is if I take this inverse matrix, which I can find in GeoGebra, and I pull it back over here. Let's pull this back up so I can write on it. If I discover that A inverse is equal to the matrix 0, 1, 1, 5, negative 3, negative 1, and negative 3, 2, 1, I just multiply both sides of this equation by this inverse. When I multiply both sides of the equation by this inverse, so multiply both sides by the same thing. So when I do this multiplication, if I multiply by 0, 5, 3, A inverse, 1, negative 3, 2, 1, negative 1, 1, and I multiply it by A, which is 1, 2, negative 3, and negative 1, negative 3, 3, negative 2, negative 5, 5. And this is the x1, x2, x3. And whatever I do on one side, I have to do on the other. Just like here, I multiplied by the inverse on one side. So I need to multiply it by the other on, uh, on I need to multiply it by one half on the other side. Or mat matrix multiplication matters. So the A inverse has to be to the left, just like it is here. This is my A inverse to the left. So my A inverse would go here, 0, 1, 1, 5, negative 3, negative 1, 3, 2, 1, and it would be times the constant vector, 1, 3, 3. And when we take this product, it should simplify. This should actually simplify right here. This is going to be x1, x2, x3. 
equals whatever this comes out to be. And this simplifies to the three by three identity matrix. So it would simplify to one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, which when you multiply by this will maintain the identity of this column vector. So just like with beginning algebra, when we do a half times two, we don't usually write the multiplicative identity as the coefficient on the x. We usually just, we know that it's gonna be a one and we say, hey, it's just gonna be one x, which is just x. Here you wouldn't usually write the identity matrix. You know that this times this gives you the identity matrix. And then the identity matrix times this is just gonna give you the matrix of variables. So you don't usually write the identity matrix in front. You just need to take this product. And we can actually let GeoGebra take this product for us. Whoop, this was zero, one, one. Don't have the eraser going when you're slapping stuff around or it just starts erasing things. And this was one, three, three is the column vector. So we could actually do this product in GeoGebra if we wanted to. So if I hit escape and if we keep these changes, this is a column vector one, three, three, which I haven't preloaded. So if I go into view spreadsheet and I take the column vector one, three, three, I can highlight that and we can create a matrix from it. And let's name that matrix B because it's usually the form is AX equals B. So we'll just name it B. And the idea is that we are multiplying the inverse right here. This is just A inverse times B, which we can do in GeoGebra. So let's keep those changes. And in GeoGebra, in the computer algebra system window, I should have made the font size larger for everybody. We can just in here do that multiplication. I can say I named my inverse A inverse. So I'm going to go A inverse and then uh, asterisk for the multiplication times times B pop. And we get six negative seven six when it simplifies. So over here, I can say when I took this product right here, I got six, negative seven, six, and there's my solution. X sub one equals six, X sub two equals negative seven, and X sub three equals six. Uh, the, the keys here is you probably usually would do some shortcutting. Just like when you're working in linear algebra world, if you're solving two X equals six, usually when you multiply both sides by a half, you're gonna go straight to a half of six and not actually write the multiplication by a half on both sides. So here, we could have skipped the need to write it on both sides. We could have gone from here straight to this equals this times this, because we know when we multiply both sides by a inverse in step one, a inverse in step one, that this is going to give us the identity matrix.